Grace killers. Let me move into that. I'll wrap up. Grace killers. Pride. I am clever. I am less. Be against the world. You only love once. My way or the highway. Hannah's God is in the room. Huh? 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 I'm a hard worker. But I don't rely on my flesh. I put no confidence in the flesh. Pride is a grace killer. If you go further, unforgiveness. I don't have time, but I must move fast. Unforgiveness. Whenever the Lord Jesus Christ wants to raise up a man with peculiar grace, whenever he is about to manifest, the enemy will always shoot him with an arrow of unforgiveness. You can't commit grace, unforgiveness, pride, lust. Take care of your heart. You love any way you want to. Huh? Just mental pointing fingers. Amen. Let me tell you the greatest place killer. It is when you talk against men of God. Amen. Everyone that is always talking against men of God, look at their life, there's no power. Amen. I'm finishing off this. David! David, David, Saul chased him for more than 30 years, wanting to kill him. God brought David within striking distance. Saul within striking distance of David. He cut only a little piece of his clothing. And he said, who am I to touch the Lord's anointing? That's because by that time he was Surakha Afala. He was an ex-anointed man. Yet, according to David, he said, if he was once anointed, I will respect him as an anointed one. Amen. You are not hearing me. Amen. The reason why there is no grace operating in your life, you are a prophet killer. Oh, Jerusalem, you who killed your prophets. Oh, Cape Town, you who killed your prophets. The biggest grace killer. Because you have roast prophet for breakfast, lunch, and supper. They <laughs> can just say anything they want. Huh? Anything. They don't care. They say whatever they want. Yeah. Look at their lives. Listen to me. Results is the biggest antidote against hate. Yeah. Your business stay in your lane and leave the men of God alone.